welcome back to This Life of Ours. Today's video is on favorite educational YouTube channels. And this is a collaboration video with others in the YouTube homeschool community, which is a Facebook group. So if you're not already a member, you might wanna go check it out. The link for that will be below, as well as the playlist for this collaboration. We use a lot of different YouTube channels. I'm gonna give you some here today. And then when you're done, head over to my blog, which will also be linked below, because I have several other channels that we like over on there. The first one is the TED Ed. You may be familiar with the TED Talks. These are all education-oriented ones, and most of them are animated, and they are so well done, so well done. The topics, there's such a range of topics. Um, history, science, exploration, language, writing, math, it's all on there. <laughs> Um, they also offer lesson plans to go along with some of the videos. We've never used the lesson plans, but when I've looked at them, they've looked pretty good. Um, we use them primarily in our homeschool for history and science, but my kids, especially my boys, really enjoy just watching them on their own. Of all the channels I have to recommend, if I were only going to say check out one of them, Ted Ed would probably be the one that I would choose to recommend. Next one is Crash Course and Crash Course for Kids. The Crash Course for Kids is a newer one, so you may not have seen that one yet, but chances are you've probably come across a Crash Course one before. Um, they, the Crash Course are aimed at high school adult level. We, my kids will still watch them sometimes, but I usually do it after we've already discussed the topic so that they're at least familiar with some of the names or places, events. But they, they the speed at which they talk is very fast on the crash course. So that's probably the, my kid's biggest complaint. Sometimes the, well, no, not sometimes. The level is also high, but it's also just the presentation that I think definitely makes it more of a high school or adult level. These videos are about 10 to 15 minutes and they have US history, world history, physics, astronomy, um, chemistry, biology, they got all kinds of topics, all divided by playlists, so that's very helpful. The Crash Course for Kids is aimed more at an elementary level. The level I presented at is, you know, lower and Crash Course for Kids is aimed at an elementary level. It's presented at a lower level and they also speak more slowly, which definitely helps. It's like I said, it's a fairly new channel, so they don't have a large variety or a large library yet, but they do have several science ones. But they do have several science ones including space, engineering, physics, earth, um, earth science, life science. Channel number three is the biography channel's mini bios. If you're of an age similar to me, you may remember the biography shows that used to be on A&E. They stopped them maybe 10 years ago or so, but I used to love them. These are taken from those bios from the biography shows, but cut down to usually three to five minutes. And they're just, like it says, mini bios about different people. I find these very helpful when I want to introduce someone who's at a time period that we're studying in history, but not someone I really care to focus on, or someone who's not in our history. Just a real nice way to kind of introduce the name, introduce the person, and their significance in history. Next channel is one that I just discovered this year for our physics, and it's called Minute Physics. Contrary to the name, not all of the videos are one minute long though, but they are typically under five minutes. They do obviously various physics topics, but they also do some um, notable physicists, which I'm trying to incorporate more into our science this year. They also include, you know, not just your regular physics courses, but um, your physics topics, but also things like physics of football, lasers, kind of more, I don't know, societal physics topics, social, cultural physics topics, maybe that's what I'm looking for. So um, I enjoy 
being able to bring that into it as well. Next channel is Senor Jordan. This was another channel that we only started this year. We are using it for my daughter's um, Spanish, but I'm also going to start incorporating it with my boys because they have, not only do they have the level that's more of like a middle school, high school level where they just talk about you know, how to conjugate, how to greet people, those kind of topics, but then they have an animated series for an elementary level. So I'm going that I'm going to start using those to go along for, for my boys. Next channel would be the U.S. National Archives. This channel I find fascinating. I love love to watch old videos of everyday life or ones that were more of a documentary type, educational type. Um, from the 50s and the 60s. I love those kind of videos, especially the narration on them. But this one is just old videos of things like from the space race, the early days of the national parks, um, old war department videos. I, I just find them really fascinating and several of them now that we are doing 20th century history will be ones I can incorporate into it. Not necessarily in a way to teach my kids anything, but more to expose them to what life was like, what the culture was like back then. Geography Now is our is the last channel I want to recommend. I've mentioned these before when I've talked about Legends and Leaks Geography because we use them to go along with that, with my son's study. In the 10 to 15 minute videos, Barbie will take you through the location of a country, the natural resources, cultural, geography, um, kind of try just to place it in larger, the larger puzzle of the world. So he kind of talks about relationships between other countries, um, how they interact, who they're, who they're friends with, who they're not friends with, that kind of thing. Yes, he can speak a little quickly and sometimes the information goes over my eight-year-old's head, but we really enjoy the videos and I would definitely recommend checking these out. There are seven channels that I would recommend for your homeschool. Be sure to check out the playlist to find other ones and be sure to head over to my blog to check out um, a few more that I listed over there. Thanks for watching.